I just got back from Unreal Fest in Orlando, Florida, and since then, Unreal Engine 5.6 has been released. And while this new release has a bunch of new updates, I think the meta humans got the biggest updates of all. This is Virtual Production Insider, and let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is David and I'm the director of virtual production at Form Studios. And over the years, I've been using MetaHumans in ICVFX projects and game cinematics. And honestly, Unreal Engine 5.6 is probably the biggest update we've had to MetaHumans since MetaHumans came out. Now, before we dive deep into all these new features, let's check in with the community inbox. Hi David, your previous video is awesome. Thank you for sharing your content and I'm interested in your cinematic course. Oh yes, thank you. We do have a course coming out. It's called Unreal Engine. When will the course be ready. Yes, like I was saying, we have a new course called Unreal Engine Film School, and this course- WHERE'S THE COURSE?! Why haven't you released the course yet?! My family cannot eat until you release your course! Okay, so we finally have an update, guys, and I'm super excited about this one. This course has been in the work for months, and if you don't know, Unreal Engine Film School is a course dedicated to teaching you real-world filming techniques that are used on movies and TV shows and how to apply them to your cinematics in Unreal Engine 5. And we are excited to announce that the course is coming out one week from the posting of this video on Friday, June 20th. We just got the Gumroad page up and running, and you can find that in the description below, and you can even wish list the course right on the Gumroad page. All right, so now back to all the metahuman goodness, right? So the biggest and most obvious update in Unreal Engine 5.6 is that we no longer have to go through a web browser to access the metahuman creator. And this is just the best news I've heard in so long when it comes to metahumans, because anyone who's ever used the metahuman creator in the web browser knows how long that can take, you know, just to get things dialed in and to get it synced and downloaded and get into your editor and all this. It's so many steps and it takes a while. And I'm happy to report that the new MetaHuman creator that is inside the editor is a faster workflow. It's not a fast workflow, it's a faster workflow than before. I wanna make that little antidote there because it still takes time to download the full res textures and to assemble the rig and get everything, you know, up and running. But it is, in my opinion, faster than it was before when we had to kind to jump between the web browser and the editor. Now to get this up and running, you wanna make sure you have all of the appropriate plugins enabled, and then inside your content browser, you can right click, go to MetaHuman, and choose MetaHuman character. This will open up the MetaHuman creator, and you can now create your MetaHuman from scratch. And this isn't the same version we had in the web browser, no, this is a completely overhauled version that has new features and updates. One of those updates is an entirely refreshed library of skin textures that go up to eight K resolution. And not only that, there are 152 skin textures. 152? 152. That is insane. And just going through all of these options, it's honestly overwhelming, but also makes my heart so happy because we were really limited before and we had to go through third party vendors to get better options for the skin textures. And not only do we have more face skin textures, we have more body skin textures. And again, those go up to 8K resolution as well. And speaking of the body, we now have the new parametric body system, which allows you to dynamically change the shape of your character's body. Before this, we were really limited to a, just a few preset body types, but now we have a full set of parameters to really dial in the look of your body. If you want it to be taller or wider, or if you just want to make a muscular man baby, which is totally an option now. And a really cool thing about this feature, which I haven't got to test out yet, is that it can dynamically update the clothing that you have applied to your metal. A human. So if you go in and update the body to be, say, a little bit wider, a little bit larger, the clothing can update with it, which is a huge plus. And now when you're sculpting the face of your metahuman, it's never been easier to really dial in the look of your character, especially if you're trying to create a digital twin of an actual person. When you're in the sculpting mode, you can now actually add sculpting points anywhere on the face that will allow you to manipulate that area to really dial it in. This is another level of custom customization that will really limit how often you're having to leave Unreal Engine to customize your metahumans. And speaking of leaving Unreal Engine to customize your metahumans, there are new plugins for both Maya and Houdini that make it easier than ever to send 
your MetaHumans profile over, customize it, export it, and bring it right back into the project. I got to see a demo of this in one of the sessions at Unreal Fest. They showed just how easy it was to bring your MetaHuman into Maya and update something like, say, the morph targets, export it back out, and when you re-import it back into Unreal Engine, it will update the MetaHuman without breaking anything. And what that means is if you have a MetaHuman in a sequencer that already has animations applied to it, it will just update the MetaHuman without causing anything to break and go offline, which is huge. And now with the plugin for Houdini, it's never been easier to create grooms in Houdini for your MetaHuman and bring those into Unreal. So it's really great to see Epic Games really embracing the ecosystem of all these different DCCs out there. And so I think that's really the future of Unreal Engine, where it can easily communicate with all these different DCCs, which ultimately makes your pipeline that much more efficient. And at the very end of the MetaHuman presentation at the State of Unreal, they announced that you can now use MetaHumans in any 3D application. Now, there are definitely some terms, conditions that go along with this, but it's pretty amazing that you can now use a MetaHuman really anywhere you want in any software. Now, let's talk about animating your MetaHuman, right? And this is probably the biggest thing that people were buzzing about at Unreal Fest. So there are two pretty notable updates to the way we can animate the faces of our MetaHumans. The first one is now you can combine expressions with your audio generated facial animation. So you can have your generated facial animation and then you can have it either be angry or sad or happy. And this will help just the overall look of your character's face match the performance that is being driven by the audio. This is a really welcome feature because I found myself constantly having to really manipulate like the brows and the cheeks to really match whatever emotion the character was supposed to be showing. And lastly, it's never been easier to record facial animation for your MetaHuman because now they've reworked the pipeline with the new Live Link hub and all of that to where it pretty much supports any kind of camera, including a webcam. So you can be sitting at your desk using your webcam and you can record your facial animation through MetaHuman Animator live to your character. Now we still have the offline workflow where you can record it, ingest it, and then process it that way, but it's pretty amazing that we can use MetaHuman Animator live and record with something like a webcam because it's just faster than it ever has been before. So if you can't tell guys, I'm pretty stoked about these updates, right? These are things that we've been waiting for for years and it's just great to see that Epic Games is really listening to us. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of stuff coming out down the pipe you do not want to miss out on. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to join our Discord. This is a place where you can surround yourself with other people in the virtual production community. And as a reminder, we are releasing our Unreal Engine Film School course on June 20th on Gumroad. You can find that link in the description below. We also have a trailer for that course here on the channel you can check out. And as always, I'm David Stapp with Virtual Production Insider, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.